Hi, I'm Monica Aldama. I am the head cheerleading coach at Navarro College, and I've been here for 25 years, and we've won 14 national championships. Hi guys, I'm Gabby Butler. I'm 22 years old and I cheer for Monica Aldama at Navarro College and this is my third year, third and final year, so. It has been a very unpredictable year in cheerleading from us getting our season canceled back in March to us getting our camp that we normally attend in July being canceled. Um, but now we are finally able to get together and we are so grateful that not only are we able to have school in person, but we're able to practice in person and we are definitely taking a lot of precaution to make sure everyone is safe. We um, had our first two weeks where we practiced in groups of two different groups with different little pods in those groups. And we just finally came together as a full team just a few days ago and we are still doing masks and temperature checks and screenings before anyone even comes into practice. Gabby, how do you feel practices are going? I think practices are going great. We definitely are improving by each week. I feel like there's a lot of really talented people on the team this year. And yeah, just playing off of what Monica was saying, I mean, uh, this year definitely has been devastating to, I feel like, all athletes and for cheerleading, I mean, we were so close to going to Daytona and, you know, it got canceled due to COVID, but we've been taking really, really, per like, cautious uh, steps into the season just to make sure that we're all healthy, we're not going to get sent home, and we're really, really taking each thing just like step by step and being super, super safe. The team is currently training almost just like we would any season with the exception of we don't have our fall sports right now. That's been postponed to the spring. But uh, our practices, we, we normally spend the first part of uh, the semester really just learning new skills, working on our technique, working on our difficulty. And then we start, as the semester progresses, we start working on ideas that we want to incorporate into our nationals routine that we compete in Daytona Beach, Florida in the spring. And uh, we create ideas, we come up with um, different pyramids, partner stunts, basket toss ideas. And our goal is to have all of those complete before we leave for Christmas break. I decided to come back to Navarro for one more year because due to COVID, obviously everything was canceled and that was like my last year. This year was my last year, supposed to be. And I felt like it was just not a good note to end off of. So I really, really just wanted to come back because this is truly my last year. and. I feel like everyone should do what makes them truly happy, so Navarro makes me like the happiest and I feel like it's a second home here and I just really, really missed everyone and wanted to see everyone, so I decided to give it one more shot. Communication is so important in cheerleading, whether you're on the mat or off the mat. And it's so important to have a tool that you can use to keep everyone informed. Our schedules are super busy and constantly changing. They're, they're not the same from week to week. So we need a place where people can be informed, have schedules. And you know, these kids are still young, learning how to become independent. So they definitely need a place where they can stay organized and um, learn how to grow up a little bit. So Gabby, I know this has helped you a lot. <laughs> it definitely has. I would say communication is definitely key, especially for cheerleading because it is a team sport and communication is important on and off the mat because there's so many of us. I mean, communication is the only thing that is going to make things work. We have a really large team. We have 44 athletes and three coaches. So with that many people, it can be a little difficult to keep everyone informed. Yes, we have a whole bunch of people on the team, close to 50 people. And I mean, it's we're all a bunch of big 
kids. So it's very, very difficult to keep everybody in check and on schedule and making sure everybody's doing exactly what they're supposed to. Like, you know we are busy. <laughs> I mean, look at them. Look at them. They're just so cute. Aww. Before, uh, we tried communicating through GroupMe, and GroupMe is just kind of one giant <laughs> group of messages. It's, I mean, it's a whole bunch of clutter in one, one thing. So it was really hard to find specific details if you were looking for them. Like if Monica would post a really important uh, note in the group me, it would get lost because so many people were commenting and having side conversations. Uh, but we've been using Band and it's really, really helped me just find exactly what I'm looking for. So it's a lot more organized and I feel like I can actually see like things that I need to see and it's just right there. So just like Gabby said, we were using the GroupMe app before we tried the band and it's just one big thread. So uh, a lot of times I would have to repost something very important that I need the, the team to know about because there would be a lot of side conversation and it would tend to get lost if someone didn't, you know, win a few hours before they checked it. Mine would be way up in top of the thread. So I was finding myself reposting things so that they would not get lost. So I'm really excited about how organized the band app feels. I have been extremely happy uh, with using the band app the past 30 days. I'm really excited about all the features that it offers and the organization. It keeps everything super organized and easy to read and easy to find, which is so important in cheerleading when our schedules are changing from day to day. What I like most about the app is it's very, very easy to use. I didn't have to watch a tutorial on how to work it or anything. I just went in, started playing around with it and it became very, very easy and just super, super fun. And it's now part of my daily routine. So we have used the group board to post all sorts of things from just announcements about things that the kids need to know, schedules, reminders. And since these are college kids, they do need that information to come at them quite often, even if it's just a reminder of what to wear for the day. Uh, we've also posted videos. Videos and cheerleading is so important. That's one of the ways that we learn and we get better. So the kids can post their videos. It allows me an opportunity to critique the videos. And, uh, you know, we're interactive even though we're not in person. They're still getting learning critiques. Uh, or some of the kids, kids even just post a video of a new skill that they've learned. and. You know, everyone gets excited about that. Cheerleading is very visual. So like Monica said, we like to video a lot and that's how we learn and we get better with, you know, being able to see what we're doing. So uh, just posting videos and making announcements, it's really, really helped. And I feel like Band is like the perfect app to do it on. The read receipt option on the band app is something that I'm really excited about. It first of all gives me the ability to see who is actually checking the post and I can then contact those that are not and start training them to remember that they need to check it daily. And then secondly, it also is a, a way to hold each other accountable so that if they say they did not know you know, that they were supposed to be somewhere at some time or some other information that was posted, um, I can show them that they actually did read it and they can't use that as an excuse. So we used the poll feature on what color bow we were wanting to wear. So everybody just cast their votes and at the end of the poll you have your answer. So it is super, super helpful, especially when you have so many people with so many different opinions. It also um, is a great way to be able to make those decisions without being in person. I'm kind of used to the old school way where, you know, we take a vote and you raise your hand if you're this choice or this choice. So being able to do that uh, without actually being together is just so convenient. 
I love the feature where I can pin a post. It flags it as important and it keeps it at the top of the board. And everything we post is important, but sometimes there are things that are just really high priority that I wanna make sure the kids really, really read in detail. And the first thing that I pinned was about their online classes to remind them that they needed to, number one, log in, and then also do the first assignment, because if they don't, they do get dropped from that class. And obviously academic success is so important to us. And um, so I did pin that post to make sure that everyone read it. Gabby, I know you have some online classes. Did you see that uh, post that I pinned? And did you log in? Yes, I logged in and <laughs> it was very easy to see. So thank God for the pin because <laughs> I probably wouldn't have seen it if not. The share calendar is another very, very helpful thing, especially for us because as a Navarro cheerleader, we have so much going on. We practice every single day. We have to make appearances sometimes. We have to film for certain things. So for the share calendar, we actually in the past two weeks, we've had to film a few things. Uh, <laughs> and also it is great for if we're switching around times, so let's say practice is usually at eight, it will be pushed to, or maybe put earlier to seven. So we love, love, love that calendar. It's definitely helping the whole entire team. Monica, what do you think about it? Absolutely, I was even able to add a, a reminder whenever I wanted to. So I did a reminder on the study halls because they are at different times, it's not, the same time every every week right now so i wanted to make sure no one forgot so i added a reminder that reminded everyone 10 minutes before and then we also have had some practices that were optional an open gym type practice and so we put um, an rsvp on that so the coaches would know how many kids to expect so it's really been a great tool for us to use I love all the features that I've been able to try out so far, but I'm really excited about the hashtag feature. It um, gives us the ability to go back and search easily. So sometimes the kids will need to go back and reference something that we've posted a while back. And with the hashtags, they can just search it and then find it and see what the information was. And then the other thing that I'm really excited about is being able to upload a file. I keep a lot of our music as files on my phone so I can just upload those and share them with the team or even a PDF document or something that they may need when they're getting their physicals done or just some kind of form that I need them to have access to. So I'm really excited about those features. Gabby, what, what do you like? So I absolutely love the video feature. I think that you know, us being able to post videos in the band app it is super, super helpful because people can give each other corrections and just better ourselves as a team. So for instance, I posted a video uh, about a week ago and you know, you had a whole bunch of my teammates saying, hey, like, here's a way you can improve this, like, instead of this angle, do this angle, or point your toes, or, you know, really any little, little thing. And the little things matter the most, so the video feature is definitely one of my favorites. And I would have to say that the group chat was also another one of my favorites, just because we get to discuss a lot of the information uh, as a team together and obviously like the group chat is always lit we love we love just you know joking around with each other too and just uh, talking to each other as the leader of the team uh, band has made my job so much easier we are constantly going in so many different directions we have appearances community service different practice times, study halls, and band has been a great way to keep everything so organized so that the kids can easily see what's going on, read the post, and have everything available at their fingertips right there on their phone. I would absolutely recommend the band app to all of the cheer community. You will absolutely love all of the amazing features. I would suggest you familiarize yourself with everything. You will absolutely love it. 
And this is going to be a game changer in the way we organize our teams, which is going to set us up for success. I would 100% without a doubt recommend the band doc to any cheer team. And also if you want to like change your method on communication, this is a great platform to do so. I feel like it really in general is just going to help you overall as a team. And this can be for any sport. It could be for literally anything. So highly recommend it. Oh, that's a great question. Uh, so Monica means the world to me. Uh, she's like my second mom. Honestly, I feel like I can go to her for honestly anything. And even if it's something that let's say isn't like comfortable for me to share. I feel like with Monica, I can literally go to her for absolutely anything. And she is, you know, she doesn't judge anybody and everything that I go to her for, she's always helped me and just guided me exactly where I needed to be. I adore Gabby. I think she's the sweetest person. She is honestly the most kind, caring, and giving person that I know. She would give anyone the shirt off of her back if they needed it. And not only is she one of the most talented cheerleaders in the industry, but she has the most beautiful soul and she's just adorable. I love her. Um, if I were to give advice to new cheer coaches, I would say really, really focus on your relationships with the kids. They all come from different backgrounds. They all need a little something different. So really nurture those relationships so they can, you can build confidence in the kids and they can trust you. And you're really going to get the best out of your athletes if you do that. And then on top of that, I would say practice, practice, practice. I think the best advice that I can give to any young cheerleader, anyone that really wants to just start cheering, it doesn't matter what age, is if you believe in yourself, you can do absolutely anything because mindset and confidence is such, it literally will take you so far and hard work beats talent when natural talent refuses to work hard and I feel like that's a saying that I've really always stuck by because no matter how naturally gifted or talented someone can be, hard work will always triumph over natural talent because if you put in the work and you're putting in that time and you are wanting to be the best and you're literally just practicing, 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 like there is nothing you can't do. And that is, that's just something that you could do with anything. It could be any sport and hard work goes a really long way with confidence. Woo! Yay! Go, go. Okay. <laughs>